Hello, it's Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com and I'm just doing a little training video for you today to show you how to download your Facebook Live videos. So you may want to consider this for a couple of reasons. One, it's just a bit of protection for you if something ever went wrong with your Facebook page and it was shut down for whatever reason that you've still got a record of all your videos because if you don't download them from your page and something does happen to your page, Page, all that content creation is gone. So you might just want to save them to store them on your computer. So you've got that, um, you've got sort of like a video library of your content that you've created previously. And once you have saved it to your, your computer, you can actually repurpose your content. So you can take that video, you can upload it to YouTube, you can use it in email marketing, you can turn it into a blog. There's all sorts of things that you might, um, you know, choose to use with this content once it's downloaded. So I'm just going to show you, physically show you how to do that from your page. So at the time of the recording of this video, um, I did a Facebook Live two hours ago. So that's the one on screen in front of me here. So all I'm going to do is click on those three dots there and I'm going to edit post. So it's going to bring up my video for me and then I'm going to go to three these three little dots down the bottom here and I'm going to download it. So download HD. So I'm just going to click on that and it's going to start downloading my video. Now where I'm circling my mouse here at the moment, it's showing the little blue bar is going to go around the circle there while it's downloading. So I'm just going to pause this video while it's downloading and I'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, so we have finished um, downloading the video here. You can see it's populated down here on the bottom left of my computer. So I'm just going to open up a show in folder and that's going to show um, in my, it's just going to show my C drive. It's highlighted there. So I'm just going to rename it so I, I know what to pick up, which video to pick up. So I'm just, oh, I've lost it. <laughs> Sorry, there's alerts coming through there. So I'm just going to title it Facebook Stories. There we go. So I have now just simply downloaded that um, to my computer and it's saved in, um, saved in, in the hard drive of my computer now. So now that I've done that, I, I mean, you just might want to just keep it there for whatever future reason um, you might want to use that content again. I'm going to upload that to Facebook, uh, sorry, YouTube straight away. So when you're in YouTube, obviously you need to create an account with YouTube. There's this little video with a plus in the middle of it. It says create a video or post. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to upload a video. So then when I do that, just a little note with YouTube, if you don't have an account yet, you just create one, but you can't create your own custom URL to YouTube until you have 100 subscribers. So you will have a generic uh, URL to your YouTube channel until you have 100 subscribers. So that might take a while for you to do that to be able to get your own custom URL. So do I want this video to be public? Yes, I do. So you can change that to unlisted, private or scheduled. So um, private really means that it's in real lockdown. Um, no one can really see it unless you, you know, send, you know, the individual link to them. Unlisted is the common one that I use. If I do, say, a training video and I only want it to be visible by people in a certain Facebook group, then I'll just make it unlisted. So it means that they can see it within the group. It's not just a link from me to somebody else. So it can be visually seen in a group, but it's not public on my YouTube channel. So it's not something that everybody, all and sundry, can see, um, but it does mean wherever I post it that the people within that 
um, like, um, you know, a group can can open and watch that video. So this one is going to be public because I'm going to put it on my website. So I'm going to go and find that, which was which will be sitting in downloads, and it'll be called Facebook. Uh, Facebook stories. So if I find the Fs, obviously I've downloaded a bit um, over time. Facebook stories, it's sitting right there. I'm going to open and that's going to start um, downloading. So then I'm going to put something in the description section. This is not a YouTube video, so I'm not going to go through this in detail, but I'd put a description in there. I'll put some tags in there if I want it. I'll probably create a custom thumbnail about it and then I'm going to publish it and I can pick up the um, the link for that video and repurpose it. So I can put it in, um, I can put it on my blog, I can put it in my email marketing, um, you know, I can do various different things once I have that um, YouTube link to this video. But yeah, that's a video for another day going through YouTube. I just wanted to show you how you get it off your page here um, by simply clicking those um, you know, three little buttons, you get to this window and then you click these three little buttons here and you just click, simply click the download HD and then save it to your computer. So at least you are storing and protecting all the content that you are creating um, from your Facebook lives, just in case something happens to your page one day or you want to use your content from your Facebook lives in other places. Now, just a couple of things while we're here, you can change the title of your video while you're in this section. So I can title that Facebook stories and you can also change your thumbnail by um, clicking over here. So this will give you, in this particular instance, it's giving me 33 images to choose from. So I can click through those images. In my uh, case, I'm creating custom thumbnails. That's a training video for another day. So I'm going to actually add my own image later. But just for now, um, you would hope amongst this um, lot here that there's something with half a smile in it or maybe not. Let's see if we can find one. There's one. So I'm smiling. Um, so I'll just save that one for now. But when I've done my um, custom video, so when people are scrolling through their newsfeed, the the custom thumbnail, well, the thumbnail that you chose is what's going to um, appear. But I'm going to create my own custom thumbnail and upload it later. So I hope that's helpful to you guys, just to know how to get the content off um, your Facebook page and onto your computer if you want to save all the content that you are creating from your Facebook Lives. So I hope you found that valuable and I will talk to you soon. Bye.